Pod. I'm Shalyan Rajan here. To enjoy happiness, there is heaven. And for suffering, there is hell. To rise above happiness and suffering, and for doing the highest good to oneself, the means is the human body. In reality, the human birth is the beginning and the end of all the births. If a man achieves salvation, then it is his last birth. And if he does not, then it is the beginning of his endless birth. Uplifting of the self or attaining God is a person's own duty. As a human body has been granted to a person entirely for his salvation. Accepting the relationship with the human body and enjoying pleasure and accumulation of things is not a person's duty, but it is alien to them. By human force alone, one does not become a human being. A person is one who gives due importance to his discrimination. If a person is not a human, then he is inferior to animals, for the reason that animals by reaping the fruits of past sinful action are preparing to become human beings and a person by new act of sins prepares for hell and to be an animal. The highest state of salvation is natural to a person. The proper use of a body is only in the service of the world. To remember God and to serve others, these two establish humanity. If one is granted a human body and he does not achieve God, it is a matter for sorrow and pain. A person's body is not for hearing or learning only, but for realizing. Realizing the blessedness. Hearing and learning comes to animals and birds also, like those who work in our service. One who does not serve others nor remember God the person is not entitled to be called a human being. To watch for the start of pleasure is beastly and to realize it is the result of humanity. The creation has been formed in such a way that the life of a person is for others and not for his self. Without attaining God, human body is worthless. One who is attracted to God, he is fortunate and great. He is entitled to be called a human being. For the success of human life, it is essential all the time to be extremely careful. The importance of human body depends on discrimination and not on action. In reality, a person's body is not action-oriented, but it is a means. One who is not an aspirant could either be an angel or a demon, but not a human being. A person is one who has a birthright to attaining God. Thanking you for listening to